Did you not see what they did to my neck? It was fractured in six different places! I thought you didn't have bones! You don't know about my fucking bones! The rock says don't fuck with Kushtopia on it, Gary. Well, maybe you shouldn't. <clears throat> By the way, check out Gary and the Glendersons now streaming on Netflix. You see, this is exactly my point. Omar gets hurt. This brother's nowhere to be found. Where is he? You know Kasim's got kids. He's got to stay home and protect his family. <sighs> family. Oh my gosh! It is a giant train set! No, no, no! No! no. Oh, what are you doing? Grab the blindfold. I think he's tiring out. I don't know where I'm going. Let's get him while he's tired. No, oh, I don't like it. I really don't like it. Mr. Kasim, it's very nice to see you today. What are you doing in my yard blowing my grass? I do this for you. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Big show! Real big show today. We have a guest, my kids have just been abducted. I was not in charge of it. I'm not supposed to go in there and have a regular interview? We can... With Mitchell Davis? I'm sh Maybe we should just talk about this, like the... No, know? I'm just... Should we... I'm just put this up here. I mean, we can make it more prominent. We can... No, I want to hear about you, uh, your... What you got going on. Um, and every day, she's wondering why her father isn't there to rescue her. Not you, me. Every day. All you gotta do is tell me, I'll stop. He knows. I see it in his eyes. I see it in his eyes. I know you know. I know you know! Tell me! Tell me! Tell me! Tell me! Breaking news, Gary and the Glenderson canceled off Netflix. Oh, Due to low views, dang. Netflix has decided to uh, recast the lead yes. with a mo uh, younger, uh, better looking Squatch, uh, someone along the lines of Miles Teller or one of the Jonas Brothers. No, so no, bro. Shame. Shame him, shame so the kids. Good. What the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, bro? Bro, what the Dirty, fuck? isn't it? Yeah, they got Gary, man. They shaved him. He was fucked up. Dudes. And what does he care about, huh? Nothing. Your dad doesn't know shit. When my dad gets back, he's gonna break your neck again. Uh. Tape her back up. No. You should have been a nicer uh. lady. What about this one? He says no words, as if he was Mr. Bean. Hey, man, so, I gotta know. What do you think of your dad? I hate him. Yeah, good. Good. That's really good to hear. I really appreciate you saying that. Hey, Ted. Do you know what my favorite part of the train is? It's the caboose. Powerful. Sturdy. It can take a beating. Hey guys, welcome to another Cast and Family vlog. Big episode today. We're actually gonna go on a rescue mission and save my kids. Stick around, it should be a good one. Damn it, why don't we save them? Are we sure that's it? What do you mean? How many other portals to another dimension do you think there are in El Segundo? It just looks a little, is, is low budge the word? Yeah, like they didn't spend any any time on this it's at just all. Just like bad effects. Well, however you say bad effects in real life. Sure, That's sure. what this is. Sure, sure, sure to give it a go. Yeah. Right. Easy peasy. Yeah, yeah no, nope. nothing. No, nope. nope. let me try, let, let me work. try. Oh my gosh. All right, step back. I'm going in. Be careful, Cassie, be careful. Oh, he's so slippery. Whoa. How did you do that? I guess I I got the Jesus plug, right? 
Episode 9? Hello, George. Hey, Kassam. Ready for the big news, buddy. I'm ready for the big news. I'm technically up here. We're all the same. We're all the same. Rice, rice farmer. You know, Mongolian trash. Probably the Jesus blood stuff. You get, oh, is anyone watching this show? I watch the show. He's the chosen one. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You know, it's actually kind of nice being the chosen one, having my own thing for once, you know? Kind of like how the show was supposed to be, just just my show, and now okay, it's kind of like on. our Hold on, let me just show. I hate myself. I didn't try. Oh, Ooh, I got cold real quick. Yeah. How did that work for you? I have felt a little, a little like, Powersy since episode six. I didn't want to There's be mold in your bong that, that you told me to use, dude. I've been smoking out of mold. I'm gonna die. I haven't used it in a long you time. You told me. Now black mold in my lungs. You should have cleaned the water out when you saw it was yellow. Oh, the bong water. It's it probably the that. bong water. We're gonna go with that. All right, so we'll just hang here. Yeah, we'll be right back, guys. Just stay here. Make sure the portal stays open. Do you think you are strong like a caboose? A tough caboose. Blown to the whistle. Do as I say. Blow on it. Come on. Yes. Let the people know you are coming. Let the people know you are coming. You watch out. Watch out for any custodians. I'll be right back. Stop. The way you blow that whistle makes me want to run a train. You know that I can do things for you. Things no one else could ever do. Knocked him out with a pizza box? Yeah, I guess the uh, quality ingredients really added to the weight of this thing, huh? It oh, will take Dad. more than quality ingredients to take me out. No. No. Don't worry. That was only 280 guilt free calories. Hello? Ooh. Who is that? Hey. Nuxter. Oh, Kasim just told me to sit out here and wait in case any more Kustopians come. I'm supposed to watch guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, what about you? Just looking up at the stars, man. Thinking about how we're all connected. Portal starting to close. We need to put something in there to keep it open. Here. Hold okay. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh, it's working. John, it's working. Yeah. You want to hit this? I probably shouldn't. Come on. Come on, it's marijuana. It's gonna be a no. That's a that's a no. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna pass that up, baby. Kiss, kiss. Come on back. Thank you. Oh, but you know the portal's about to close, right? Oh no, I did not know that. Yeah, totally. Any moment now. Life is crazy, isn't it? I have to run in and tell Cass some things you told me. Who's Cass? Up? Just kidding. We we all know. Right, let's get you out of there, sweetie. <sighs> Here we go. Okay. Come on. Ollie. What's up? Come on. Let's go. We're getting out of here. No. Ollie, give me your hand. Come on. We're going home. I am home. <laughs> oh, yes. Good form. Good form, Ollie. Son. Ollie? I'm very proud of you, son, and I love you dearly. I love you too, father. Yes. But he's my boy. Oh. Oh, is he? I don't know, he doesn't really look like you anymore. He kind of looks like me, you know, with the Hawaiian shirt and the sunglasses, the neck brace, the spots. Yeah, we get it, Del! Hey! Nugs to the Nug told me that the portal's closing in a minute. I don't know if that's information you want to hear right now. I don't, I don't know if I should have waited. Am I interrupting family business? No, no drama here. Everything's fine. Right? Get the fuck out of here. Don't you have an ice bucket challenge to record by yourself? Oh, roasted! Son, I... I know you don't mean that. You're a wash up. You're nobody now. Good. You're more, not more. even my dad. Yes, yes, more. That's all I have. Okay, that's fine. Hey, sorry, I'm super high. Did I tell you guys that 
the portals closing in a minute is like a whole ticking clock situation. Yeah. I did. You told okay. us. Huh, okay. I think I'm good. Look out, we look like twins. You're my little twin son. We're so happy together. Come on, Dad. Let's just go home. Yeah. Be gone. I can't hold it anymore, it's long. I see them, they're coming. Tell them to hurry. Uh, hold it, John, this oh. is crazy. Oh, crap, They're coming. Hurry. Come on. Oh, my God. Boy, am I happy to see those calves, John. Oh. It's just such bad effects. It's just cheap bad effects, and I don't like it. Where's Ali? Where's your son? Oh, I am so glad to have rescued all my children. And bring them back to this reality. Oh my just God. covered in spots. It's oh. bad. What does that mean? Oh. Just covered in spots. One big happy family, eh, sweetie? Everyone that's important to me here right now. My only daughter. My only. What about your my son? My only child. What about my your only son? child. You have two child. Child. Ooh. Ooh. You want some ice cream? Eh. Should we get her a halo top? Uh, Longer? Yeah. Let's get her a halo top. Yeah. One big happy family going to get halo top ice cream. Only 280 calories from one pint. Ching. Not so fast. Of course the portal to your kidnapped kids would be in this crap hole known as El Segundo. Jeff? Ted Parker? You did this to me. You changed me into this. This monster. Why do you have... Why are you covered in foil? It all changed when I stole Omar's laptop to delete the video. Uh, hey, thank you guys for watching episode 18, maybe episode 19. Uh, fucking live, go! All I wanted to do was delete that deceiving video off the laptop. Sure, I got distracted like any other modern man would. Uh, yeah. I didn't deserve what happened to me next. I didn't deserve the pain. Do not! Do not. It was just all so gay. <laughs> Look at me now, Jerry! After that, my whole world got flipped upside down, and I became the Culverizer. Leave us alone, Chad. You're being super gay right No homo. <laughs> I know I'm gonna sound like an effects nut here, but it just seems like bad effects again. Actually, I'm not really here to hurt you guys. Uh, I wanted to know if I could buy some more ad space on the show. I'm a huge Jax Films fan, and after I saw that episode with him, I, I don't know, I wanted to get back in it, baby. Yeah, I don't know, it just seems like we're trying to wrap up too many storylines in this one app. <laughs> the Culverizer. Hey, welcome back! Episode 25, huh? Hey. We made it! I want to thank all of you that put up with that for 10 minutes. But you'll be happy to know the kids are back, huh? Yeah. The kid, back. The, my kid is back. Kid's my kid is back. My one... Sure. My yeah. daughter, my lovely daughter. But one kid you My have. one child is back. There's mm -hmm. two child. I thought there was two kids, wasn't there? Uh, no. The whole time? We're just gonna move on. Uh, oh no, 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 that guy wasn't even, he's not a part of the family. Ah, uh, really? Yeah, yeah. He looks like you. No? No, just works here. Hmm. Just works here. Hey, let's bring out our guest. Uh, we got a good one. Everyone, uh, let's welcome Tony Cavallaro on Woo! today. Woo! Tony! Thank you. Welcome, buddy. Thank you, guys. Hey, Thank you, guys. Hey, Thanks for coming over here. Thank you, guys. Hey, Cap. Thank you guys. Hey, wow, look hey, at guys. it. What a, what a, what a look at that. I thought I'd go around. First guy to shake all of no them. No one's Everyone's? ever yeah, true. gone across. That's right. Yeah. And uh, this is not a sponsor, Depp. No. Nope. Halo Top is not a sponsor. No, I don't like it. The ice cream just falls out everywhere. But I tell you one Very thing, guys. Ice cream. If you wanna, if you wanna stay ripped, then eat some Halo Top. <laughs> Here, damn. Yeah. That's an endorsement. Mm -hmm. I want to thank Halo Top because they saw our last episode and they were like, we're, we didn't sponsor them, but let's send them a box of ice cream. We have yet to receive this box of ice cream, but hey, I'm, I'm optimistic. If yeah. you guys, it's, it's coming. if Halo Top wanted to send me a box of ice cream, yeah, I would want the lemon cake. Oh, you mean <laughs> Tony Cavallaro from Nickelodeon School of Rock, now, mm -hmm. it's a, now in his third season? Yeah, 
Yeah, Emmy, you would Emmy, want Emmy nominated. Emmy nominated. You got the School dollar. of Rock. And Kasim, just to be clear, you have not gotten you have gotten zero dollars from Halo Top. Zero so far. dollars. They have not sponsored any. They of have it. not sponsored the show at all. Because it seems very much like they've been giving you a lot of money. Yeah. They haven't. They haven't given me a dime. You just love them. We shot that whole rescue mission mm -hmm. on uh, a, a very expensive camera that Halo Top did not, not provide us. Did okay. not no. pay for. But. Still, a majority of the show, we we have been talking about this Halo Top. I mean, it's a fantastic ice cream. Okay. I, I don't know if you guys have seen the ads on Facebook. They certainly pop into my feed. And they're attention-grabbing, and I think they do a great job of photographing. They absolutely do. <laughs> they just pop off the web page. And 320 calories for a, a whole pint of salted caramel? Are you effing yeah. kidding me? <laughs> what the hell? Are you effing kidding me? Hey, Tony, thanks for coming hey, by man. today. I want to say congratulations on wrapping up your third season. Thank you School so much. Rock, huh? Let's Woo! give him a So proud of you. Um, Nickelodeon is uh, lucky to have you. Thank you. I'm lucky to have them. I want to hear. I want to hear about what it's like working uh, on a Nickelodeon show with a, with a bunch of kids. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like I would have no patience for children. Probably not. You know. But uh, <laughs> for those of you that have seen the movie, there's a movie with Jack Black. And he uh, he comes to a school and he doesn't he's not a real teacher, mm -mm. but you know what he knows how to jam. He, he does. And he turns his class. It's almost like a sister actian. Yeah. It's a sister actian. Oh act. man. Mm-hmm. It is like sister And I I I play those YouTube songs, those videos on YouTube all the time. Oh happy day. You do. Joyful, oh, joyful. Happy. Yes. Dude, it That's is. That's how sister you wake act. up. You wake up to sister. It's act. sister act. Yeah, it's one, it's the movie One Eight Seven with okay, Sam though, Jackson. That's okay though, right? Tony, that's okay. Yeah. But you're just in the no, show. No, I right? love that movie One Eight Seven with Sam Jackson. I don't like it no music. when they kill yeah. his golden retriever. Oh like yeah, spoiler. Michelle, who's the blonde? No, that's Dangerous Minds. Well, I love uh, her too. One Eight Seven is the successor. yes, but who's the girl? Is it Jennifer Lopez? Who's the girl that Samuel L. Jackson mm. likes mm. in 187? Guys, saw it once. go ahead and in the comments below, just to prove it's go live. ahead, um, go ahead and let us know who the female protect, anti, pro, the female character whose stars opposite Samuel L. Jackson is We'd love from to 187. See that answer. We're gonna really we figure wanna, this out. All right, let's see. I'll, there's, um, there's about a minute delay, so I'll let you know. <laughs> no, it's fine. They're probably still watching the end of the, uh, the pre tape yeah. Something we really look forward to, though, for the but end also, of this yeah. episode. Also, big shout out to Vin for um, holding down the backyard. Did, yes. This is Thank you, dude. Sorry to, sorry to have just left randomly last episode. I know we just kind of left, um, who was our guest? You know. Zaragoza. Yeah, Steve, Steve Zaragoza. Zaragoza. We, Steve, so sorry that we left you all alone in the backyard. With Vin, sorry, yeah. Steve. Um, but we had we had to go, and and then you guys saw the culmination of that. So okay, they've seen it. How was the Emmys? Emmys were amazing. I don't want to rub it in, but did you not win? We did not win. Oh. We lost to Sesame Street's uh, what? HBO special. Sesame <laughs> Street. So bunch of hacks. Yeah, HBO <laughs> Sesame Street. Never heard of them. Yeah. That shows um, poison, How dude. many Emmys do they have, and is it the record? I don't know, honestly, but I know last enough. year we've been nominated twice now for outstanding children's programming, and nice. the year before we oh. lost. Thank you, and the year before we lost to uh, Charlie Brown's 50th anniversary Christmas special. Dude, another oh, hack. Uh, another. Icons, right? What's with what what's the with these frick? like shows yeah, that don't we're even never gonna beat them? Are you, <laughs> do they have to be shows that are literally over 50 years old? Well, I think that's <laughs> that's what happens, and and then before that. That category used to have like all like news HBO kids news specials and like they would be about like super heavy topics. Yeah. So it's just an honor to get nominated. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll look forward to you winning for season four, beating out uh, the likes of Babar. <laughs> and Doubt other it. very old animated yes. shows. What other what else is there? Babar and probably like Scooby Doo's. Yeah, so, yeah. Scooby Doo's special about Standing Rock. <laughs> <laughs> I saw on your Facebook that you, when you were posting about the Emmys, you said yeah. you used to work as a janitor, and you yeah. were talking about how how long ago was at that? At the Emmys, I worked as a janitor at the Emmys. Wow, no, wow. so I I posted a thing, just a, like a cheesy like like this is you know it's cool things that dreams cool. can happen. Yeah, but I think when we first met. When you were Eight the years ago, yes. That's all. I remember you as the Groundlings guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I had been taking classes there, but when I was shooting videos with our mutual buddy Corey, Corey and I Webbs, met big you. Big shout out! Uh, big shout out to Corey Webbs Corey in your Williams. Naked Afraid episode. 
Congrats yes. on getting love uh, you, dude. Uh, uh, teamed up with a. Uh, I mean, she was. She was. Wow. Yeah. She did nothing on that. She show. was one of those. You just, held it down. She just made the duct yeah. tape swimsuit right away. <laughs> she made. Okay, wait. Did just a sidebar. Yeah. Uh, Corey's Naked and Afraid episode, which was this, the season finale of this last seasons of uh, Naked and Afraid. You know, you bring one item. Corey yeah. brought a, a big machete. Mache, yeah. <laughs> she brought duct, duct tape. tape yeah. First order of business, make a bikini. But mm. that's not naked. I would wrap my feet first. <laughs> yeah. She did not. Yeah. She wrapped her nipples. Right? Yeah. I would wrap my feet first, yeah, for yeah. sure. You think Corey was like, oh, man. <laughs> I would have expected more from an Instagram <laughs> surfer model. Yeah. You know? you, yeah. I get it. I get it. Anyways, but then we did meet through Corey. We did meet through Corey. You were in the groundlings. Yes, but grinding. I was also a janitor at that time. I didn't know you were a janitor. I did, well, I, I wasn't freely sharing that. Yeah, I, I was wasn't freely sharing. Well, so you were. We had our own janitor. Yes. So we I I cleaned, I cleaned a theater, toilets, vacuumed all that stuff four days a week. Wow. And they were flexible hours, so I could still. I I don't know why I looked at the camera. I'm not Go gonna ahead. Be able hey, to use it. if you want to look. Well, I mean, what Feel are we free. working with? How wide are we, John? There for this one, and then this one's just. He's a about baby. to go to season four, John. Give him, yeah, tell yeah. him. This guy's a pro. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. But I'm also cheating out. So, guys, for you future actors out there, if you want to cheat out, so we've got four cameras. If you want to cheat out, mm -hmm. all right. You want to look to this opposite eye. So when I'm uh, looking at Cass, I'm, yeah. I'm looking to the outside eye. Yeah. That's right. So that more of my face yeah. is to camera. And that brings up a great point. You directed your first episode. I did. I did. I directed now, an episode. Now, do you give advice like that to the kids? Uh, or do you just tell them, like, hey, if you fuck up, it's going to be on TV forever. Now go out there and get them. I mix, I mesh the two styles together. <laughs> well, what's the biggest, OK, you have to be in it, but yes. you also have to direct. Yes. Why? Why do you do that to yourself? It seems like it a was lot of a work. lot of work. I do, because I've always dreamed of directing an episode of television. Yeah, and it was a lot of work. It seems really, like a lot of work. It was a lot of work. You had Harder to have than a movie. Piece. They're telling you they're giving you wardrobe decisions. To yeah. Make, all so that like stuff. my first day, just for example, my first day of directing, we have a table read and then we rehearse, and then we and then we do a, a run through for the producers. I didn't eat for the first time that day until 6.30 p.m. And you're a big guy. Yeah. I mean, this stuff. Go easy this on stuff, us, That doesn't, this stuff he has doesn't gotta wake eat. up like this. This yeah. stuff has got to eat, you know? Mm -hmm. And. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Minnesota, Minnesota people. I don't know, he said, it's, he said it's got to eat, you know. Okay. Hey, you know. Okay. Oh, yeah, my biceps been eating a lot of oh, your yeah. moose lake, you yeah. know. Yeah. Really hey. eating my tries. Moose lake? A lot of people like the mallard duck. That's not the exact quote, but that's from Fargo, the film. Oh, that was not a nice the little show. taste. That was a little taste of you know, Fargo. Remember Fargo when he we gets are. the two cent duck stamp? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. That's where his art's going to be featured. That's in that movie. And that stamp makes an appearance in season three of the show. Of the show, exactly. Do the mallard duck. Bringing it back. <laughs> Blowing up the comments. Directing was a blast. It was a ton of work, but the kids back to the kids they're the greatest children i have ever met yeah like across the board and that was like our goal when we started off shooting i had worked with kids before and i know there is a stigma of them being as hard as animals difficult dogs. to work with they're like dogs and we decided that we were going to be a team from the get-go so we had like a movie night my wife annie was there and we all got together and we we're like Movie nights, no parents. We watch like Tommy Boy and Wayne's World. Whenever I'm with a large group of kids, I try and separate them from the parents as soon as possible. So I totally know what you're That's talking about. Creepy. That sounds really. Just weird. get them away from the parents. Take their phones away. Throw their phones away. Make sure they're they're on your clock. Yeah. Don't tell the parents where they're at. On tell them clock. to tell their on parents clock. that they're at a friend's sleepover and not yeah. at your house. Oh yeah, all the tricks. Whatever right. you need to do, do. So it. you got to get in. You got to be buds. Let them know that hey, we're we're partners. Yeah. We're co-workers. I'm not just an adult who has way more experience in life. And not only that, but like, we got the best job in the whole wide world, guys. Yeah. And we it's fleeting. Bro. Because you you know this business is, is a tough mother. It is a tough mother. And for these kids, it's a tough you know, they, I, do some of them think that they're just always going to be actors? Like, none of my, none of mine do. All yeah. of mine, all the kids that work on School of Rock know that this is the best. And they have to go to school. Yeah. So they on go to set. school. Yeah. So they go to school in the morning. Wow. Anytime they're not in scenes, they're in school. And we learn and play all the music. 
That's, That's awesome. Uh, no one, you should have won that Emmy. What is Sesame Street doing? Yeah. There's a bunch of old, old creepy guys, guys with, with their, their hands. In the asses. Big Bird's Wii? Yeah, Big Bird. Yeah. Big, Big Bird was played by the same guy that plays Chewbacca. Really? That's pretty cool. No, that's not real. That's not true. Yeah, that's what? not true. Why'd you do that? That's, but it was believable, right? Because I, I bought it for these. a second. Sure, it was but believable. Then I, but but then, I, then I thought of Chewbacca being inside of Big Bird's body. Yeah, that'd yeah. be cool. And What'd that you guy's, think about that? And he's dead. Peter Mayhew. Rest in, rest I thought, he died? Lady, rest in peace. Are you serious? When did lady, he die? Lady, 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 lady in peace. peace. When did Chewbacca die? A couple of years, couple no. of years. No, he was in the last Star Wars. <laughs> this right? Going, think okay. My, isn't that, and then, and then yeah, she was like disco lemonade. And then she was. You guys play that? Who is that? No. <laughs> Marcy's Playground. I, Marcy's Playground. I thought that was Our Lady Peace. Uh, close. Uh, Our Lady Similar. Peace, right? Yeah. So, will you think you'll direct more? I would love to. I, I would really love to do a show. Or anything, direct anything. I've got a short that I've, I'm gonna probably do this year. Yeah. Uh, where and you I, produce too. Yes. You're yes. just like uh, doing it all. Doing it all. Like doing hey man. All. And you work you gotta out. Gotta do it all. And you work out. You produced a movie. Yeah. That's gonna be in Australia at a film festival, yep. mm -hmm. and it's called An American yep. Werewolf in, in, in Texas. Australia. Australia. <laughs> <laughs> an American no. in Texas. It's a, yes, an American. In, it's really dramatic. How many kids are in this one? Zip, dude. Zero. You well, can do it all. Yeah, zero. Work with kids, work zero with kids. non kids. Animal, werewolves. Zero kids. Great. And what's it about? It's about four guys in a punk rock band, and the first Iraq war is like the backdrop. Sold. And they're trying to get out of small town Texas and I'm in LA. I've been waiting for it. Holy cow, that's cool. Well, how's, the war, how's the war play into that? Well, none of them like believe in it. So oh, it's kind okay. of pertinent to what's happening. History repeats itself. Oh, Am I right? Remember. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I that right? is a saying. That is a saying that History people say. History has, has a way of repeating itself. It I've heard that. That sounds familiar. And we may have another Bush in the president in the White House. I guess you're right. Yeah. And Peter Mayhew's alive. Thank you. Peter Mayhew. Pass him. He's Jeez. alive. No, man. no. Yes, he is. He was well, just I'll in the change last that. Just no, give don't me kill Chewbacca. <laughs> yeah. Give me just his to make sure you make your right. Pass. He didn't right. pass. So you're gonna be in Australia? Are you sad Chewbacca's not dead now? No, no, no. He I didn't, just feel like didn't pass. his knees, his knees buckle so much that he had to have fallen over. Shout and it's when you dip, when you're that tall, your the blood rushes to your head and you can die. Yeah, I don't like. Have brain aneurysm. Yeah. That's how you have a brain aneurysm. That's how. That's how uh, Andre the Giant passed. Here. Let me I don't believe three. anything I hear on this show anymore. Yeah, big news. Look at that. Are there any carbs in this? No, no, no <laughs> just 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 cream and. This is how you get to stay cut. Yeah. You've always been ripped. Yeah, but I've you got to stay cut. you ever get dude. fat? Yeah, dude. How often? <laughs> at the beginning. <laughs> How at the often beginning, have you been fat? Well, when I was a child, I was a fat child. Bless your heart. Yeah, that's why I have issues. Now, yeah. and kids used to make funny, and, uh -huh. now, and now what are they? Now they're fat oh, and geez. not on TV. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of, what type I mean, of, I'm not going to be. Yeah. What type of big boy issues you got? Okay, you got big I, was, boy I was 215 pounds my oh. freshman year in high school. Holy cow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here's my impression of you in high school. Let's see it. Uh, Holy <laughs> shit. Dude, the uh, chat. Can somebody help me get to my locker? Keep it up. That <laughs> was Tony in high school. The chat's never been so nice to a, a male guest we've had. Really? There's literally 90% of the men in the chat are saying how beautiful you are. Yeah. Yeah. And then, then and then they've never been so mean to us and Castle. Oh, right. So <laughs> He's the type of guy. But look at the wind and it's blowing yeah, his hair. Man. He's got, it's like we had yeah. a fan pointed oh, right here. Perfect. It's we, like, wow, Tony looks like a Greek god. And then it's like. Wow, like, <laughs> as many people watch this as WNBA preseason games. And then it's like, wow, well, you're so I chiseled. Mean, and then it's like, dude, wow. That's a, who said the WNBA preseason That's a game. sick burn. Let's give that a shout burn. out. That's a great who burn. Bill, Bill Malarkey. Bill Malarkey. <laughs> Big that's shout not out a real to Bill name, Malarkey. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Bill, where are you from, dude? Bill, <laughs> I, I, I respond to abuse like when I hear that I want to be his friend. That's how damaged yep. I am. I say great job. Hey, we have a segment on this show where we bring out my cameraman, John, and he does news. He's Would you like to hear? Cameraman. I love John Knox. John, is our video Booby Hunters online somewhere? Does it live uh, somewhere? I think it's on Nacho Punch. Oh, if well, you guys were to. Maybe you can come and look at camera and then plug the video oh, sorry, you're in together. They probably, I think they took that one down. Do you know how Good show day. business works? I looked Apparently for that not. One. You're, you're in <laughs> it. They took a bunch down. <laughs> Did they take down Robin Banks and the Bank Roberts? I think so. Okay, uh, everyone, welcome John and uh, for John and News. Ta -da. 
Nice. Now, uh, he, brought, he brought up something. You guys were in something uh, together. I think it's, is it not on Nacho Punch? They sure took thing. a bunch down. They took now a you're a asking questions there. about it. it. Be well, I mean, I don't know. There have been a lot of regime <laughs> changes. And regime changes? Uh, <laughs> change. Every oh, John now life talks change. about life like it's a sports franchise. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys want to hear a, a kid's song about uh, change? Yeah. This do we all get an instrument, or, or do I'll you just already? I'll okay. just sing it. Um, but this is. <laughs> I'll just sing it. <laughs> Here, you can give me a. Yeah. Great. Just me though. Okay. okay. I'm just Caterpillars <laughs> turn into butterflies and kittens. They turn into cats. And little tiny seeds sprout into big old trees. And sometimes Skinny gets fat. Boom boom. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. That was Thanks. pretty good. Hang I feel like. Uh, I feel like. I've never heard that song, and if I heard it, I would think you're talking about me being fat. No. Was that an original? What was that? And, uh, it's in the current Groundlings show with my friend Laurel Coppock. So that was. The, it's called like the Change Song. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Things change. We yeah. can see you at Groundlings still. You can see me the next two weekends at the Groundlings. But guys, also check out Peter Gilroy's new television series on Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> it's called Hashtag Reality High. Not a TV show. This it's is a eight this episodes. Is... This is Tony continuing a bit. He started on Instagram. Started with an Instagram video. He's now continuing this is on trans, with the cast a trans live. media roast bit. If you want to catch Peter's show, it's right after Transparent on Netflix. It's this is where I reality tell high. Tony that they have it's a, a schedule movie. on Netflix? Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Kasim has not watched it yet. I have not. He's been playing he's a lot asked, of Rocket League. He's asked me to watch it, but I, I have played Rocket League and then I started Baby Driver. Me and Kat, I, I swear I'm going to watch it. We also it. made a movie together. I'm not sure you watched that movie either. Me and you? Yeah, when, when you Boner came in. Boner Police? I'm still not sure I watched that the part I was it. in, and okay. I was like, I was bad at it, and so I stopped. You Is that great. a real movie? Boner Police? Yeah. Yeah, you can find that on YouTube.com. I'm just here right? to network. I'm just here <laughs> to network. When Bobby Lee was here, we, all you did was network. Oh, if Bobby Lee's watching, please return my calls and my emails. They probably were in your junk Bobby. folder. Did you, oh, you please, yes. Give him a text. Give him a voice. No, he's memo. already been throw, here. He throw him a picture of me. There was too many function? people here, and he, he took a diarrhea in my bathroom. I don't want him back. <laughs> I mean, he really destroyed it. All right, hey, sorry. All right, no problem. From one Korean to another, John Na. Story number one. Teen badly hurt after father makes him fight bully. Wow. Father drove his 16-year-old son to a street corner to fight his high school bully. The team landed on his head after the other team picked him up and threw him onto the sidewalk. Jesus. He had bleeding in his brain. That's not in the movie, you know? That's not yeah. me. Okay, that's quick debate. Me. Good parenting or bad parenting? <coughs> Depends on where you live. And it's also the plot of The Accountant with Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what happens in that movie. I didn't like that movie. No, it was, it was way too, too long. It, it, it could have been a half hour show. Yeah. I'm, I, really I'm, like I am seeing a lot of, you know, similarities to you and your son and you. My just daughter? Kinda, you kind of just letting your son go and just yep. kind of abandoning <laughs> two He's confused. To he, th he seems to think that I had a son <laughs> when all I have now is my daughter. I think two what kids. this dad should have done is probably stood up to the bully himself Ooh. and took his son back. I would love to be nice. taught his out son of a something. Kid. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like not giving up on your son, like yes, teaching them, exactly. like not letting them go bad. Exactly. Yeah, be so he should have taken yeah. that bully and said, "Hey, look here. Maybe you're a dog. Maybe you're a person. Yeah. But here's the situation. Yeah. I don't like you picking on my son. You know, why don't you pick on somebody your own size?" <laughs> <laughs> What was that? I lift him up because I'm so much bigger and stronger than kids. <laughs> so how satisfying. It's like in Rocket League where you play somebody who's just much worse than you. It's like you can just beat. I just want to freely beat the be shit. Big, just love be these Rocket League when I look at When I look at this crew of guys, I think fighting is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Every single one of these guys. Right. Just fighting is the answer for you, these guys. I was bullied when I was a kid, though. I was smaller. I, didn't, I grew in yeah. like 11th grade. 11th grade is I when you shot find up. Him. Uh, you find anyone that hurt us. Yeah, he took this, he took a hat off. He, he took this uh, cherry coke, spit in it, and splashed it on my head, <laughs> and then put the hat back on, and then took my basketball and kicked it. What an asshole! And why did you even yeah. need to spit in the cherry coke? <laughs> you were just gonna scrunch it on your head. Dude, oh, no. the old classic cherry coke spitter. Yeah, I pretty much got on my bike with my friend, and we left. And we, we were way across the parking lot. My friend yelled, "Fuck you!" You know, but we were. It was it wasn't effective. Oh my god. Yeah, I got picked on a lot, and. 
And then in 11th grade, I grew, then I just got ignored. You know? <laughs> that's good. Ah, that's a no-win situation. Well, that's yeah. bad parenting, I'm going to go ahead and say. What well, there's have? an arrest warrant that has been issued for the boy's father, felony child endangerment. Ooh. Ooh. That sounds right. Yeah. They could take your kid away for that. Mm -hmm. That happened in Cleveland, Ohio. And you're going to be a dad in a few weeks. Yeah. yeah T-minus four weeks four for weeks. John. Four oh. weeks. Wow. Changes. Would you ever do something like this? Uh, uh, I don't know. You have to Probably think not. about it? No. Come on. <laughs> what? I hope you don't have to read your nursery rhymes off of a piece of paper. <laughs> a green and glass. Start. <laughs> You're having a daughter. I love you, Chloe. All right, story number two. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Couple behind Daddy of Five YouTube. They're a Daddy of Five YouTube. Hey, Daddy of okay. One. All right, one of my favorite uh -huh. YouTube channels. Yep. Uh, they were just charged recently, and they got probation for... Uh, child uh, neglect. That's it? Uh -huh. A psychologist found that both Emma and Cody, which were the two youngest, uh -huh. and they were the two kids that were from the other mom, were neg negatively impacted by the treatment captured on the video. Uh, they no longer have contact with the two, with the two kids or their mother, uh, and, but they still post on the Mommy of Five channel. The stuff was <laughs> they still post. Yeah, they still oh, no. post. What are they posting? Yeah, well, did you see what all had, what I, happened? I read about it a little bit because I get very, very annoyed and upset at like, there's this one Australian dude that like picks on his girlfriend in videos and thinks it's hilarious uh -huh. and it drives me crazy. Yeah. He'll be like, hey babe, hey babe, <laughs> uh, you know, pose for the picture and then he'll like push her into a pond. <laughs> hey. That's love. And then like he'll Sick like. Prank. He'll like, she'll be getting ready and like in her beautiful dress and he'll like throw an egg at her. Oh. And it's just like, it's, it's promoting a, a certain thing. And it was the same thing with these kids. They scare the kids and make them think certain things. And I, there's just a line that they crossed for sure. Oh yeah. That's don't the terrible. kids know after a while that but there's a camera though? I don't It speaks it. to a, a, a bigger problem where it's like all the, con everyone's a content producer mm, now. Yeah. Content. And so everything is done, right? Yeah. Everything's being done or has been done. So what you, the next step is like hurt your kids, hurt, you know, <laughs> just get views kids. the easiest way possible, which is hurt people around you or do things that are very dangerous. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Right? Cause like yeah. for the Australian guy, when your wife is just really nice, you're supposed to just not throw eggs on her. You're supposed to take her out to a nice dinner. Correct. Peter. That's what you're supposed to do. That's and he exactly didn't do that. Exactly. You're, you're going to make a that. great boyfriend. Yeah, one day. But I've seen part. like compilation <laughs> videos of this guy doing like 20 terrible things yeah. to his his girlfriend. <laughs> Why is she not leaving him? Let's not give him she, a shout out. I'm not going to give him a shout out. Let's go find him. What, do you, what, what else you got? Uh, story number three, uh, the hard R. Ooh. Oh, hard PewDiePie. R. The hard, hard R heard R. around the world. Fine. The hard that is R? That's a really bad word. While playing PUBG. I, I know, we've that. been playing PUBG. I don't yeah. know if you get let's, down on video games. I know you're in. married and you're on a show no, and then you're on Growlings. But no those, of us, those of us that uh, aren't, yeah, we're playing PUBG. Mm -hmm. And it's a game, it's like you, you 100 people drop into a map and the last person to survive wins. Yeah, I saw Beauty the Pod video. Playing, yeah. I saw that drop. recently. Yeah. It wasn't even a situation I think that would call for it. I, Not, I feel like I... Did you I, see it? It's so first of all, no situation can ever. Call <laughs> but I mean, it's so nonchalant and not yeah, even like, like what happened. Not even like an unplug. Oh my God, what did I just it's say? Like he got yeah. shot in the shoulder and it barely grazed him, and he threw in a hard R. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, he no. was just like Tarantinoing it. I he was just see waiting to say it. I saying it if he was in a, a much worse situation. I just don't think no. what happened to him. You can't say it when you look that white. You look very John, there's he's a, foreign. There's right? a lice on my glasses. Is this from you? And he's no. foreign, right? Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, he's Swedish. He's Swedish. Mm. Thoughts? Beauty Pie Swedish? Wow, I just He's he's like the epitome of the very white dark. evolved white man. It's not very just very Swedish to say something like that. It could be a little more Swedish. <laughs> I I hear. Well, he right? did put out an apology. I didn't watch that. Did uh, did you guys see? No yes, one seen the apology. Yes, I did see it. And did, it's it, did it seem like it, garbage. it's garbage? It's garbage, really. Garbage, yes. I gotta tell you, I'm a man of brown color, and I I was in the in a, in the same car with PewDiePie one time. I did. He did not make an, any slur at me. Yeah. I don't think he would say it out loud. Is it one of those things that, like we're stupid, and, like you know how we all used to call each other fags? No, for sure, yeah. When I we believe, were like yeah. in eighth grade, he like hey, just fag. Got caught up in the moment, you know that game. You know, whenever you play games like that, when you're in survival mode, 
you're going to do the But unfortunately, happens. if he's saying that and there's just one slip and he's ultra aware that he has this audience of he like must be saying a gazi- it all the time. he must be saying yeah. that stuff all the time. <laughs> but maybe it's different in Sweden where everybody's maybe the white, white, <laughs> white and blonde. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, uh, oh. breaking news. Okay. North Korea just fired an unidentified missile. This way? How's 16, that for live television? Ago. Coming this way? Oh, Coming this way? I'm going to drive. We're going to drive inland. You know how long it takes? Um, we're too close to Sony Studios to go right from now. North Korea to LA. I think it takes what? like 21 minutes. We better wrap this That's up. It? We gotta wrap this we gotta up. Oh, it well, we gotta do my mom's movie. No, I'm, not, I'm serious. It well, it depends. Right. What movie is she reviewing? It's it. It's a long one. All right, Damn, so I what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a quick break. Yeah, we're gonna come back with my mom's movie review. We'll get uh, Tony painting me on it's, the canvas, and then it'll be it. We'll all become disintegrated. and. Yeah, well, maybe we'll still be here. We gotta be in 20 minutes. All right, we'll be right back. volume up so loud again. Fuck you. She's pregnant. Come on. You're my mom. Did you know that Jacob Dylan's dad was a singer? (laughs) (laughs) What's up, tiny dick? What's sarcasm? I think that was. What? Chop up the wood. I'll tell you a secret. I've never interviewed someone before. <laughs> now you tell me. <laughs> I feel like this is racist. Okay, hey, we're back. Thanks for hanging on. I know, uh, like we said before the break, North Korea just launched a missile. An unidentified Towards missile. Japan. Towards Japan. Japan okay. orders residents to seek shelter after North Korea fires missiles. And you, and the there's country. some of you, this is so sad, but Vinny just pointed out that some of you are hearing that news for the first time on this show. Exclusive. Cast with the exclusive. And, Don't and make it about according you. to John Knott, well, it's kind of cool. Uh, John Knott says it would take 21 minutes to get here, so we're going to try and wrap up the show as soon as we can. We got my mom doing a movie review of the old It. So give it up for my mom. Yay! Hi, mom. Yeah. Hey, mama. Uh, hi, mom. Hi. Hi. Hi, this is Tony. Uh-oh. Say hi to Tony. Missile has flown over Japan. Hi, mom. All right, Mom. Can you hear us? I love how this ha- this is a thing every week like this. <laughs> Fell in the Pacific Ocean. Oh, God. It's in the ocean. It's in the ocean. Okay, it's We're fine. Good. Let's move on to the movie. Mom, can you hear us? <laughs> Mom. Yes, Mom. Oh. I think uh, you have a problem. No, do you, ha- do you <laughs> have a problem? Okay, well, just can you give us your movie review of It? She's in Hawaii. She's close. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, live in Hawaii. The movie. Uh, when we come and talk about uh, uh, Stephen King, any any novel or any uh, uh, work, we have to, uh, with respect, you know, to, to know it is very, very beautiful things he's doing. Uh, this man, he is, you know, legend, and I like uh, some of his uh, novels, but not all of them because my heart can stand, you know, the insanity. Uh, one of his, it was it. it uh, one of his uh, novels, it was it. And uh, actually, this novel was uh, uh, more than 1,000 uh, uh, pages. Yeah, the thick one. And I think in the movie, they make this movie <coughs> like in the uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 did not put anything that was in the store. Uh, the movie, it was very nice. Uh, the kids, uh, the uh, uh, loser club, <laughs> they were very uh, nice. They did act very well. 
uh, when the movie shut her down, you know, shut her like you know the kids' time, uh, which is she was talking about the incidents in 1958. After that, they came back when they are growing up in 1995. So you feel like it is two parts in the movie. Uh, John Ryder does the best in Soul. It's my favorite, you know, actor and. And John Ritter. Uh, many of them, actor. and John Paul, you know, we always you know, know him from uh, uh, Watson uh, family. Uh, all this it was very nice. I did not read the, the, the novel, but I think I uh, read uh, uh, some article about it uh, when he, you know, uh, they said that there is a scenes, you know, or a lot of incidents it was in the story they did not put it in the movie something like this girl when she came back the adults and she slept with everyone you know the you know the the the, the, the children and the movie it was good i liked it uh, how many falafels but i did not feel scary uh, oh not scared by it i didn't think it was that scary uh, either. Uh, i didn't think it was that scary either speaking, uh, he scared me in shining he scared the shining me was scary misery. yeah scared me in the uh, pet uh, uh, cemetery. Really, I scared. Yeah. But when it comes to this movie, I did not scared. I don't know. Maybe because I, uh, I am, uh, you know, this is something for younger age to see huh. and get, or when you read it, you get more scared. Uh, it was uh, uh, not scary, uh, but for kids, some kids, they still remember the scene know for the blood in the bathrooms and uh, the sense of humor was um, uh, Stephen uh, he when he make the uh, it he did not say exactly what is it yeah he, he make it like each child he afraid from anything he make it like some children they get afraid from the cloud some of them they are afraid from the mummies. Some of them they are afraid from the walk. So each one, whatever his brain wants him to watch. So that became the monster. And in the end, you know, when they went, you know, to sword to, to, to fight him, he, they found him as a spider. All right. No, the movie it was, well, how many? It was very good. <laughs> How, how many falafels? Uh, yeah, total. I, I, we do just you have a bunker you can get in. After, uh, just how many? What's your rating? And, uh, what's your uh, rating of it? Do you have a below ground basement? Sorry. What's your how many falafels out of five? Because we got it. We got to wrap up the show. It landed okay, in between I'm Japan and you. Four. Four okay. falafels. Four. Yes. Okay. All right. Thanks, mom. Thanks. Uh, thanks to everyone else. Yes, mom. You guys, if you have a, a movie review that you want her to go long on, leave it in the comments so we can watch it and send it to her, and uh, we'll watch it. Thanks, mom. Have a good rest of your week. We love you. Bye, mom. Bye, Bye mom. Bye, bye. Can a Bye, horror mom. movie that doesn't scare you? Aloha. Aloha. Horror movie doesn't scare you. Could I have four falafels? Well, I gotta say this also. Uh, she said it wasn't a scary movie. But she used to keep a very creepy clown in my bedroom. Oh. That uh, a couple, a and I was freaked out by it. And she, you know, it explains that she, maybe she thought it was a cute clown. Uh, I was deathly afraid of it, especially after I saw the movie Poltergeist. Do you I saw you think the movie she, Signs with her in the movie theater, and she was laughing the whole time. Do you, th movie do you think she loved freaking you out with the clown, like she did it on purpose? No, I don't know. Okay. No, mom. <laughs> well, anyways. <laughs> That's four. I mean, she gave it a four for for a movie she wasn't scared of. She must have liked a lot of other parts of the movie. Yep. Let's check in with the Tone Zone here. What's up, guys? Oh, no. Hey, <laughs> I can see it already. It's, pre it's gone pretty great, I feel like. All right, let's sign it. Pencil's down. Pencil. You got to sign it. Damn. <laughs> We're going to show up. Right show John Nah right he's got, here. He's got some very fine details, such as my liver spots. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> If wow. I can hang on to this. Uh, hey, that's actually not bad. Yeah. You know, this is how I, how I see myself. 
I think when I close my eyes is what I think I look like. Yeah, it's you're that scri- you're that scribbly. In real I gotta life. get rid of this brown marker because everyone's been using it, <laughs> and it is literally shit colored. <laughs> hey Tony, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you guys for having me. Everyone, let's thank Tony for coming thank on the show. Thank you, Tony. The rock. You can find him at uh, at Casim at Casim G at Tony find Cavallaro at Casim G. on Twitter. Yeah, Is your Instagram at Tony Cavallaro? Yeah, everything's at Tony Cavallaro. His links will be below once I get to it. It's and, there. Uh, it's there already. We really appreciate you coming by. Hey, here's to season four of School of Rock and, I love and you. get that Emmy next yeah. year, huh? I love you, dude. I want your. I'm. I want to hang out with your dog. Yeah, go hang out. Uh, you guys can find Peter Gilroy at Peter Gilroy on you on Twitter and on YouTube. You two guys, like I said, Peter Gilroy. Check out hashtag Reality High on Netflix. Uh, check out hashtag Reality High, but also check out Baby Driver is available to watch on iTunes. Because that's what Casim did last night. That's what I did instead of watching his free movie. Baby I, I paid great. twenty dollars for Baby Driver. Eight episodes. You can check out Vinny uh, Brucia at twitch.tv slash Vinny Bruiser. Yes. He so does behind the scenes of our Twitch show, which is not happening tonight. We'll be back in the next few days playing PUBG, and we won't be dropping a hard R. You can, well, maybe, but uh, <laughs> we'll be up maybe Friday or Saturday with some PUBG. Is that a semi-promise of a hard so, R? I, don't want, I want to keep it loose. You can find Omar at Uthmar yo, on yeah. uh, Instagram and Best Omar Ever on Twitter, Thanks and that's it. Happy birthday, David Gomez. Happy David birthday, Gomez. And, uh, mm-hmm. And uh, the Aaron, you're the Lizard King. Aaron, congrats. Very Thank you, cool. Lizard King. This Thank has you. been episode 25. We'll see you in 26. I still need a sign-off. Logan. Please protect us, Lizard King! Yeah. North Korea? Oh, yeah, and John Na at John Na. Na. What you oh, yeah. Sorry, John, I almost forgot about you. Oh, yeah, that too. He did a great job shooting that free tape. Uh-oh. Great job. H- hire him to shoot all your kids being kidnapped. We're safe. We have a Korean on set. I'm not attractive. No, that you're, you're just scribbly good. Scribbly you're good? scribbly good. What yeah. is that? You're good. It's good.